all of us know that around 71% of the earth's surface is covered with water bodies. Do you know why the earth is called a watery planet? Yes, because earth is the only planet containing water abundantly. Students, all of you must have seen a sea, isn't it? In today's class, let's explore the oceans and fishing. The sea can be defined as an extension of the saline water on earth. The oceans are the large sea areas or the large water bodies which are separated by the continents. So, in today's class, let's explore seas and oceans that make up our planet. Students, have you ever wondered what lies beneath the surface of the water? What do you think the bottom surface of the ocean looks like? The floor of the ocean or the bottom of the ocean is mostly like the surface of the earth. Yes students, it is like the surface of the earth. The floor of the ocean is not a flat surface but it consists of the various landforms like that of the earth's surface. It also contains various landforms like the hills, plateaus, plains, mountains, trenches, etc. Students, can you believe that trenches or the ditches in many of these oceans are so deep that they can even drown a huge mountains? Around 3 to 6 kilometers below the sea level is what constitutes the major part of the ocean floor. Students, as you all know, the waters in the oceans are never still. The waters in the oceans undergo various kinds of movements. The ocean waters generally consist of three kinds of movements. Waves, currents and tides. Now, let's have a look about the waves, currents and tides in detail. Students, all of you must have seen waves in the sea, isn't it? The movements of rise and fall of the water on the surface of the oceans are called waves. When gentle winds scrape across the surface of the seas or oceans, the waves are formed. The faster the wind, the bigger the waves. Students, you must have also heard about the currents. The water in the oceans travels from one part to another in big streams which flow in a definite direction. The constant flows of the streams in a definite direction on the surface of the ocean are called currents. Can you guess how these currents are formed in the oceans? The prevailing winds, the differences in temperatures and salinity of the ocean waters are responsible for causing the ocean currents. These ocean currents are generally classified as two types, warm currents and cold currents. The ocean currents are classified on the basis of the directions that they flow. The cold currents flow from the poles towards the equatorial regions. The warm current flows from the equatorial regions towards the poles. You must have heard about low tides and high tides. Tides are one of the three kinds of the movements in the oceans. The rhythmic rise and fall of the ocean waters every day are called tides. When there is a high tide, the water comes up to the coast for some distance. When there is low tide, the water moves back from the coast. Many places on the coasts witness a few hours of low and high tides. Students, did you know that these tides are very helpful for fishing? Also, the tide sometimes takes away with them the mud deposited by the river and help to prevent silting. <laughs> 